So today I'm gonna to be testing out a bunch of new makeup from the drugstore, from Ulta, and from Sephora. I even picked up a $47 designer concealer that's not supposed to settle into your creases. We're gonna test that out. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Okay, whew, I had to get my iced coffee. Mm. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Yes, I picked up a $47 designer concealer from Gucci. And I also have a mixed bag of both drugstore and makeup that I picked up from Ulta. And I couldn't wait to dive into this video. I wanna see if this $47 concealer does not settle into your fine lines. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I probably need to get my head examined because what possessed me? to purchase a $47 concealer. I know, it's morbid curiosity, and you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. But I also picked up some drugstore makeup. Now, I'm starting out with a clean canvas. I have no makeup on. I actually just did my brows off camera. I've actually been really liking the Rare Beauty Harmony Brow Pencil. I know I didn't really care for it in a couple videos ago, but it's kind of dried out. I know nobody wants to hear it dried out, but now it's at that perfect consistency where I can quickly fill in my brows, but that's what I did with my brows today. And today for primer, I'm just gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Uh, I picked this up during the Sephora sale and it has been fantastic. Now you know I love my Wet n Wild Prime Focus Serum Primer, but you know what? This one is really good at smoothing out the pores, hydrating the complexion, and it just provides such a blurring effect. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, while this primer is absorbing into my complexion, I wanna share with you a couple items that I picked up. I picked up a new eyeshadow palette. I know, I need another eyeshadow palette like I need a hole in my head. My mom used to say that to me all the time. But it's from Paco Rabanne, and from my understanding, Paco Rabanne is a perfume but I guess they're branching out into makeup. But I picked up their new Iphoria handbag eyeshadow palette. And I picked up the color story, Unnatural World. Now this is a quad and this is what she looks like. This is $38. Like I said, what have you been thinking, Catherine? But you know what? I got sucked into the color story. It's got a cream eyeshadow and then two neutral shadows and a shimmery glittery topper, which is like a lavender but we're gonna play with that and see how it works on the eyes. I also have the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Blush. I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm super excited because it has that upslide. It's supposed to be super blurring on the skin. And then I picked up some L'Oreal. I know, right? L'Oreal's new Infallible Matte Resistant Liquid Lipstick, and it's supposed to last up to 16 hours. Like I said, we have a mixed bag of both drugstore as well as high-end makeup. So let's get into foundation. I don't have a new foundation today, but I did recently review the Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint. Actually such a beautiful serum tint. But today I'm gonna go in with a really faithful skin tint from Maybelline, the Superstay Skin Tint. And I'm in the shade 118. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Well, dang those medicine droppers. But yeah, let's go ahead and apply a little bit. This is a gorgeous skin tint and it just lays so beautifully on the complexion. It's a very runny consistency, but oh my goodness, it makes the skin look like glass. And I found the best method of applying it is just using your fingertips and then patting it in with a dampened beauty sponge. You guys, if you haven't tried this yet, you are missing out. It's so beautiful on mature skin. It kind of has an effect of just bouncing the light off your skin and just making it look so radiant and oh, beautiful. See how pretty that is? I'm gonna turn down my lights just a bit. Look how pretty the skin is. It's glowy, it looks fantastic. Let's read up on this $47 concealer from Gucci. And this concealer got rave reviews on Sephora. So naturally, I had to pick it up. It is their Concentré de Beauté Multi-Use Crease Proof and Hydrating Concealer. It goes for the hefty, hefty price of $47. Like I said, I need to have my head examined. It comes in 40 shades. I picked up the shade 17 Warm. It's a natural finish, 
full coverage, good for dark circles, long wearing, and it's supposed to conceal imperfections and brighten the complexion with lasting medium to full coverage. The highlighted ingredients are black rose oil and hyaluronic acid that contain soothing properties that leave the skin feeling hydrated and comfortable all day. It also contains camella flower, which smooths out the appearance of the skin and the under eye area, and film formers. Provides a skin blurring effect. Girl, I need that. Natural looking glow and coverage that stays in place. Now, it's supposed to be suitable for all skin types and blends seamlessly to deliver a breathable natural finish. The reviews on this concealer, almost five stars. Almost five stars, so of course naturally i had to check it out but then when you start going through all the reviews you're gonna see something that says received free product for review if i got something for free and they're paying i mean i don't know if they pay these people but if i receive something for free then i kind of feel pressured to say good things about it right so i didn't get paid i didn't get this free i i purchased this myself so let's go in with the concealer and see how it works for our mature, in my case, dry under eye area. Now I have been prepping my skin with, today my under eyes felt kind of drier. So I went in with an eye cream and I'm really not into eye creams. I just felt like it's cooler now, the weather is colder. And I figured I'd go in with an eye cream from Verst. Actually Verst is a very affordable skincare company. This is the Zero G Smoothing Eye Cream. It has algae extract and peptides, and peptides are supposed to plump up your skin. So I put a little dab of that under my eyes this morning while doing my skincare routine. But this is the Gucci Concealer, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the French pronunciation. Apparently it has a super watery consistency. I don't know if you would consider that a serum concealer because you know how I feel about my serum concealers. But this is beautifully packaged. Let's pull her out. I mean, it's got that little doe foot that's kind of angled. A very nice tiny doe foot, which I appreciate to getting into those little tight spots. So I'm gonna apply, if it's supposed to be medium to full coverage, I'm gonna go less is more and put a tiny bit on. So I'm just gonna go right where I have really dark circles right through here and then right where I need brightening I've noticed a lot of discoloration around this area of my eye and then I'm gonna go up here like that the consistency is watery at first okay I admit I tried it out yesterday and with a seemingly watery consistency it does surprisingly have nice coverage but I'm not sold on the shade, 17 Warm. And this is not supposed to crease or settle into fine lines. And at $47 a pop, I expect to look flawless. I mean, is that too much to ask for? Probably. But thankfully I got it during the Sephora holiday sale, so I got 20% off. That's how I made rouge. <laughs> FYI, this dries down super fast. And I'm gonna take my damp and beauty sponge and just press it in. Now, I thought I would get a little more coverage than that. Okay, so look at this concealer. It's pretty smoothing at first, but I don't think it's medium to full coverage. Now I did go in sparingly. I don't, it's easier to add a little bit more than to take away. So, so far this looks pretty good, but would I say medium to full coverage? It actually looks pretty good. It didn't look, I tried it out yesterday and I probably went in heavy handed, but it did not look good yesterday. Your skin changes on a daily basis, your levels of hydration and how it takes to makeup, especially in your skin so i don't know do you ever have like a favorite complexion product and one day it looks amazing and then the next day it's like wah, wah. it's probably due to the levels of your hydration and how you're taking care of yourself the atmosphere the humidity in the air but yeah so i don't immediately write off a product if it looks bad on the first day that's why i love testing out things consistently so i can give you an informed opinion but okay this is a little more promising so on that note I know, maybe I shouldn't push it. I'm just gonna add a teensy bit more right through here where I have, you know, some dark discoloration. 
and I'm gonna hit the eyebrow area so it's kind of highlighted and just gently tap it in. Great tip if you put a little bit concealer on your brow bone right through there. You don't even have to use an eyeshadow up there. It's naturally gonna highlight your brow bone and it just looks so natural and effortless and you don't need to put eyeshadow there. That's a little bit better. I know I'm getting brave, adding more concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my complexion with bronzer and I'm gonna go in with the Baby Got Bronze from Essence. It's called Mocha Me Crazy. These are so good. Oh my gosh. And they smell so yummy. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush. This is a little bit deeper than I'm used to, but you can really control the pigment on this and just tap it in. It is one of the best bronzers, but it doesn't get a lot of love. I don't know why not a lot of people are talking about it. I think you can get this for like $4.99, but I'll be sure to put all the links below down in the description box. Uh, if you do click on those links, I do make a tiny commission and I really truly appreciate it if you do, but yeah. This is a wonderful little bronzer. It's quickly adding some warmth where we need it. It blends out seamlessly and oh, so pretty. Now for blush, I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Powder. This is a bomb blush and this is in the shade It Girl. It has that ingredient, Upsilite, that's supposed to really lay on the skin, super smooth, and blur at the same time. This is in the shade It Girl. It is a limited edition shade, but she has other shades that are just so gorgeous. But I love this pop of pink. It goes on strong, but look, you can blend it out and sheer it out so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on right through here. This is definitely vibrant. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in with my e.l.f. Dual Complexion Brush. This is such an affordable brush. It's eight bucks. This is the perfect blush brush for cream products, for powdered products, but see how it just blended it out seamlessly? And then I'm just gonna go right in this time. Oh, really? This is so beautiful and it just looks so seamless on the complexion and it has amazing lasting power. You don't even have to use a powdered blush on top to set it, but look how easily that went on. Oh, so pretty. I think I put too much on the right side, but let's go ahead and even it up. Okay. Now for eyeshadow. I'm a sucker for quads. I really am. Because for me, less thinking, simple color story, but Paco Rabanne came out with their Iphoria handbag palette eyeshadows. Now they come in several different color stories and it retails for the huge price of $38. What in the world? I need, I need some coffee after that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When I saw it online, I thought, wow, that looks so expensive and so luxurious. It's plastic. This is plastic. You would think for $38, it would come a little classier, a little heavier, a little weightier, but for 38 bucks, this is what you get. I know. You get four pans of color. One is a cream shadow, then you have a topper, and then you have these two neutral shades through here. Now the color story that I picked up was Unnatural World. Let's go ahead and swatch the Iphoria palette. We're gonna go in first with the cream shadow. This is Lilac Glaze. This feels very creamy, but somewhat oily. This is Lilac Glaze. And then we're gonna go in with Tobacco Leaf. Oh, that feels buttery. And then the top one to the right is called, you're kidding, it's called, <laughs> this one is called Ashtray. That's so appealing. Ashtray, which is this deeper cool tone brown and then the final shade is the sparkle which is amethyst and let's go ahead and ooh not a lot of payoff tobacco leaf this one god love it ashtray that's actually quite pretty amethyst yeah 
Wow, not a lot of payoff whatsoever. Those are the shades right there. Who would name an eyeshadow shade ashtray? I guess Paco Rabanne. <laughs> All right, let's hop into a look. I wanna start out with tobacco leaf and tap off the excess. And I'm gonna go all over the lid, kind of, and just see what sort of pigment we're gonna get. It's kind of pretty. And I'm kind of going up into the crease like that. Nice, okay. Okay, so this is pretty. If you wanna do a one and done look, tobacco leaf is quite nice. Wasn't that hard to apply. Not a significant amount of pigment. The opacity is pretty good, no complaints. Um, now, on a packing brush, I wanna go in with ashtray. <laughs> Let's go in with ashtray and I'm going to kind of focus it on the outskirts of my eye and then hello pigment. Where is it? And kind of just create a V. Oh gosh, this is patchy. Okay. Wait a minute. It's not packing on. It's not. Oh God. Ashtray. Whoa. Look how patchy that is. Do you see that? I'm really concentrating on the outer thirds of my eye just to get some definition there. And it is just disappearing. I mean, it swatched pretty decent, but we all know swatches don't tell the entire story. And this is definitely not giving me anything. Hello. I'm gonna take a little bit and use it as an eyeliner and run it along the lower lash line. Oh, no, this is so depressing. Oh my God, this is not giving me anything. And then I'm just going to take that same brush that we initially started out with and just blend it like that. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of question this cream shadow. It's so oily um what i'm gonna do wish me luck i'm going to probably got too much i'm gonna tap it on top of tobacco leaf and ashtray and see if there's any opacity to this now bear in mind if you have oily lids you may not like this i know you're not gonna like it because it feels straight up like a grease paint it's very sticky. And then I can see myself, you know, putting my finger back in here and getting that color right back into the pan. So I'm gonna clean this off as best as I can and go back into it and go in onto this eye and just kind of tap it in. I mean, I'm barely putting anything on because I really wanna see how opaque this would show up. Then I'm gonna take it into the inner corner like that. I can feel my eyelids catching and sticking to my eye sockets. On that note, I'm gonna go in with amethyst and I'm gonna smack it right on top of the lilac glaze. Oh my gosh. So we can, I don't know, set the glaze. And since it's so sticky, I'm hoping that the glitter from Amethyst, we will have no fallout. It's kind of giving me a chrome effect, which is kind of cool. But I think you could just get this easily in a chrome eyeshadow without the goopiness and without the mess. I'm going to make this work. But see, once you add it on top, it is really pretty. This side has dried up. That doesn't sound right. This side has dried down. <laughs> and since applying the shimmer topper, it kind of set it in place. So my eyelids are no longer sticky, but you can get payoff like this. You can get payoff like that with any other chrome eyeshadow, duo chrome. This is 
Way too much work for a four pan eyeshadow palette, that's for dang sure. I'm gonna go back in with Ashtray. I know. Deepen up that corner, right through there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on, fix my brows, eyeliner, and then we're gonna dive into the new infallible lipstick from L'Oreal. Eyes are done. Now for eyeliner, I just tight line my upper waterline with the infallible mechanical pencil from L'Oreal in the shade brown denim. And then I did a quick little wing with, of course, my favorite, the Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner, liquid eyeliner in pitch brown. I thought it would go well with ashtray <laughs> and tobacco leaf. Okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. And I'm ready to dive into the new L'Oreal Powdery Matte Infallible Matte Resistant Liquid Lipstick. So this is gonna be matte, and it's supposed to last for 16 hours. Now, I have already tested this out. I'm just taking off my lip mask to hydrate my lips, because it is a matte, a mattifying lipstick. They say it's one swipe with color, and I picked up the shade Road Tripping, which is an orchid slash berry color. And let's start right here. Very creamy. Ooh, I guess let it dry down. I don't know. Oh, my lips are crooked. I do have to say, Road Tripping is a beautiful shade. I did wear this when Matt and I went out for brunch last week and we took Hondo with us and it lasted all through my brunch. It didn't bleed into my lines it really lasted well but i have to be honest with you by the end of the day it felt crusty dry and i felt like i had to put like a lip gloss over it just to get that hydration back so if you have dry lips like i do and you prefer a lip balm or a gloss this is probably not for you if you want to wear something infallible for like a special occasion maybe I mean, I made it through brunch and I made it a couple hours after that, but it just was so uncomfortable at the end of the day. But it definitely has pigment. It definitely has longevity. I am just not a matte lipstick kind of girl. It has to have that special sweet spot of being mattifying, but also hydrating at the same time. Here we are with the final look, and I have some serious thoughts I need to share with you. Let's start with the blush. Yeah, let's start out with the blush. The Janessa Myricks Blurring Blush, Cream Blush. Fantastic. If you have texture, if you have pores, if you're looking for something that's gonna blur your complexion but also give you pigment and longevity and a gorgeous range of colors, highly recommend it. I know it's a little bit on the pricier side, but it is so worth it. It's $25. They come in so many beautiful shades. This is a limited edition shade. It girl, I just think it makes the skin look so blurred, so flawless. I, I can't say enough good things about this and I will probably pick up some more shades because this is fantastic. You don't need to have another blush on top to set it. It's You put it on there. It doesn't dry down too quickly. It has beautiful pigment. Highly, highly recommend this. Okay, let's talk about this $47 concealer. The biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Well, no, I've made big, I've made bigger. This has got to be the worst concealer I've ever tried. I'm angry, I'm angry. This is not a good concealer. While it has a thinner, runnier consistency, it dries down super strange. I know it's full, medium to full coverage, but I'm telling you, it feels good, but once it dries down, it did settle into every nook and cranny of my under eye area. I look older. It, it, it looks like it's aged me and it has so many skin loving ingredients. And I think the first ingredient is cyclopentasiloxane, which is a silicone. It's supposed to lay smoothly on my eye and I have no idea why it's just really exacerbating, accentuating that area right through there. I even used, you know, an eye cream to make sure my eyes were nice and plump and juicy. Yeah, I'm so disappointed with this concealer. I, I'm definitely, I'm going to play with it some more and see if I can get it to work. And I will give you an update in an upcoming video, but yeah, I am so irritated with myself that I, I went for the hype. I Not even just the hype, the reviews, and you read that fine print. Received product 
for free. Receive product free for review, whatever, whatever that, it, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, so let's talk about another miss. The Paco Rabanne Iphoria handbag palette. Save your money. Oh my gosh, $38 is way too much for a quad in my opinion. I would pay $38 for a Pat McGrath quad because her formula is absolutely beautiful. But this patchy, not a lot of pigment. I mean, what's up with this oil? I mean, what's up with this cream shadow? It just is sticky, greasy. Like I said, if you have oily eyelids, uh, you need to run, run far away. I mean, just combining this shade with amethyst created a really pretty ethereal look, but you can get that look with any sort of chrome eyeshadow, even from the drugstore. It's, it's encased in plastic. It's super cheap. I can't believe Paco Rabanne is trying to sell this for $38 maybe 18, maybe $18, but no, do better, do better. But yeah, so those are my thoughts on all these makeup products, you guys. I tried, I really tried. And sometimes I feel super stupid when I purchase something so expensive and just believe the hype, you know, and then I just feel foolish. But at the same time, I'm glad I'm sharing my results with you and that's what's great. We didn't do so well today, but you know, that's why I'm here to guide you in terms of what works for our mature skin. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And you know, if, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you would be a part of our family. But for now, mwah. oh yeah, it doesn't come off. Halkita, I love you and I hope to see you in the next one.